Hello and welcome to this new video. Today I am going to show you how to create an AI chatbot that you would be able to use as an assistant or agent for your own website. We first start in V0, which is a chat-based website builder that generates code using modern web technology components like Next.js, React, etc. It uses AI to generate interactive web pages with minimal effort, all within your browser. There, we want to write in the input field what we want to design and make this prompt as explanatory as possible. For me, the idea was to create an AI chatbot for my website. I am a photographer in Cambridge and I want to create an AI chatbot to welcome my visitors and help them find what they want on my website or help them with their various queries. I also want to tell V0 that I want to use the GPT-4 model of OpenAI as the LLM engine to power up the chat function. Now that V0 has created the front end of my chatbot, I want to go to ChatGPT and ask, how can I create a chatbot from scratch? I will be then given a set of steps to use in order to create the chatbot, and I will use those for the next stage. Once ChatGPT has given you all the instructions to create your chatbot, click the copy button at the end of the section, then go to Perplexity, which is an AI search engine, and paste the ChatGPT instructions into the input field. Do not forget to slide the Pro slider to the right to use the Pro search, as you are allowed three per day when on a free plan. After Perplexity has created all the steps for your chatbot to work, check at the end, as you may be asked if you want to develop the bullet points more. For example here, ask it to do that, then you need to go to bolt.new, which is an AI-powered, full-stack web development agent that lets you code, run, edit, and deploy apps, all directly from your browser. In Bolt, you will use the input field to put together the various bits from ChatGPT, Perplexity, and V0 to generate the backend and frontend code for your working chatbot. I have absolutely no coding experience myself, and this new software is a crazy thing for me to use just by prompting it to generate code. You are bound to encounter a few teething problems with Bolt. While coding, for example here, I enter a message in the chatbot interface and there is no reply coming from the chatbot. 
So you need to keep trying, fixing problems as they occur and ask Bolt to fix issue after issue until you have the chatbot you want. Be aware that every operation will consume tokens and you may run out. I did and had to upgrade. Remember that this video is merely an intro to show you how to use Bolt.new, how to quickly create a chatbot for your website. Once operational, you will need to train your bot and test it to make sure it is ready as you do not want your visitors to get weird messages from it. Also be aware that I increased the speed of the video by about five times and real-time coding can take a while, just be prepared for it. You will also want to make sure Bolt does not remove previous code and features when adding new ones. And you may also need to add a database to make chats persistent and be able to check the various chat contents afterwards. Adding an OpenAI API key will enhance the quality of your chats tremendously. You can see in the next few screens how to top up your chat tokens. Do not worry about spending too many tokens, especially if you use the GPT-4 model. It will keep token spending to a minimum. When you are happy with the way your chatbot behaves and answers, or just to see how it would look once deployed, click the deploy button in the top right hand side. It would be good if you had signed up to Netlify beforehand so the deploy process is seamless. I had signed up prior to this deployment so you can see how it happens here. Once deployed in Bolt, you can click the link displayed to open your app or see how I open Netlify and retrieve the latest build from there. Finally, all there is to do is to talk about databases. Without a database, your chatbot could have dozens of interactions with visitors and you would be none the wiser. When I started recording this video, I really struggled to find a suitable database to help me make conversations persistent, but using Terso or Firebase, I was not able to make any data persistent. However, as you may have noticed from the beginning of the video to now, the button to the left of Deploy changed from Stack Blitz to View Project, which when clicked takes you to Superbase, which is a database platform. Its free level gives you two databases and it's enough for you to play around. Superbase was like a godsend for me as it worked straight out of the box without being too complicated. I guess the only thing missing would be something to make the data more readable and accessible. I am updating the original video to add an extra bit about training the chatbot. Here I use DeepSeek.com, which is a free AI software, a bit like ChatGPT, to generate content, and I created a Google Sheet for it. To create a Google Sheet that will help train your AI chatbot as an assistant for your photography business, you'll need to structure the data in a way that allows the chatbot to provide accurate and helpful responses. Here's how you can set up your Google Sheet. Use the following sheet structure and create a Google Sheet with the following columns. First, 
Intent, the purpose or category of the user's query. Second, user query, possible questions or statements from visitors. Third, bot response, the chatbot's reply. And fourth, action, any specific action the chatbot should take. Once you're happy with your Google Sheet, go back to Bolt and attach the file to the input field and explain to Bolt using a prompt what you are trying to do. In essence, train the chatbot using the Google Sheet. If you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and even subscribe to this channel to be alerted to future video releases. Thanks for watching.